Hey folks, it's uh, Dustin DePirac, uh, still here at Scott Stadium in Charlottesville. They've uh, turned the lights out on me at this point, but um, basically from this one, not a lot good to say for Indiana. Just got pummeled today 47-7 to and just got beat, uh, as Coach Lynn said, just about every way they possibly could. Just uh, you know, killed on both offensive and defensive lines, allowed uh, 536 yards of offense to an Indiana team that was averaging 270, which was dead last in the ACC. Um, so again, not, not much good that, uh, that could be said for the Hoosiers. Quarterback Ben Chappell was in fact asked if there was anything good they could take, and they said uh, pretty much, you know, not much. You know, part of it did have to do with uh, the loss of Darius Willis, probably more than they would be willing to admit, because uh, he was a pro you know not having him was a problem in both uh, pass protection and the running game. They managed only 82 yards on the ground today, which was uh, you know low. I think the lowest they've had since Eastern Kentucky when they only had 73. Uh, so that obviously was a problem uh, down in distance, made it hard to throw it all. Not that you know the passing game was uh, looking all that great anyway. Uh, defensively, obviously some uh, major missed assignments. Uh, a lot of passes. The guys are coming out of the backfield and we're wide, impossibly wide open. Um, so there's a lot of things that uh, that they're gonna need to correct. Basically, the way uh, the way Ben Chappell put it was, "This isn't us." Uh, that's you know that was his quote coming out. Is this this isn't our football team? This isn't how we play. This is not what we're you know this is not what we do. Uh, he said there was a lot of stuff going on that he hadn't seen all year. That uh, people were missing assignments. People were going the wrong way. People were missing signals, uh, and that everybody just seemed to not really know you know what they were doing. Um, obviously, this one has a lot of implications. This was a game that uh, a lot of people out there kind of circled as sort of a must win uh, because it puts them in a situation that. Uh, you know, they have to beat Illinois, Northwestern, and Purdue. And if they don't do that to get in the bowl game, they have to upset at least one of the three, Iowa, Wisconsin, Penn State, uh, none of which look all that beatable uh, for Indiana right now. And to tell you the truth, it's tough to tell who is beatable for Indiana right now if they continue to play uh, like this. As Coach, uh, Coach Lynch said, you know, we're not going to be able to, to play like this and beat anybody. Uh, and, you know, that's pretty much the case. They obviously did not look like the Indiana football team that we'd seen. Uh, in, in previous weeks, especially against Michigan a couple weeks ago. None of the things that they were able to do in that game were they able to do here. Defense did not, uh, you know, they, they managed to get the soul twice, but uh, for the most part, he was comfortable. I mean, those stats are a little bit misleading. There wasn't a lot of hurries. You know, there wasn't a lot of cases where uh, he seemed to be in, in a lot of trouble and he was able to step out of a lot of, uh, a lot of pass rushes, uh, make some plays with his legs. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, you know, not a lot good from the, good comes from this game. I mean, I guess the one thing that they had to be at least somewhat happy about was some of the guys that went down with injuries: Will Patterson, Pete Saxon, um, Matt Mayberry. During the game, apparently aren't serious, so that's not a thing that's going to continue. But uh, basically, the Hoosiers just said that you know they got to go back, uh, watch the film, try to figure out what exactly there is you know that they're going to do. Try to you know basically try to move on from this one and start over. As uh, Coach Lynch said, you know, when it comes to a football game like this, you just go shower up and uh, get on to the next one. And that's kind of what they're thinking. Obviously, this is not a game that they want to think about very long because uh, it was by far, by leaps and bounds, the worst performance they've had this season. And so they got to go on from there. And as for us, you know, we'll uh, you know be back uh, to cover just Sunday. Uh, I have a follow in uh, Monday's paper. Uh, also, you know, go to Coach Lynch's show on uh, Monday night, get back to the press conference on Tuesday. Uh, Illinois homecoming game coming in on Saturday, seven o'clock game, and also have Hoosier hysteria this week. Get into get into basketball a little bit, and you know get started with that. And it seems like there's a lot of people that are uh, more excited about basketball now than uh, they are about football by a long shot. And uh, so obviously there's a lot of talk about you know the chat about get rid of Coach Lynch, I and mean, that's that's early. Obviously that's something that would be you know talked about and discussed as the season goes on to see what kind of final record total he has he's had. But uh, you know we'll continue to follow it and uh, keep up with everything this week. I uh, hope you join us, and we'll have a whole bunch of stuff on the blog on the scoop and everything else. Thanks a lot.